Welcome to the Science Kid. I'm your host, Quinn Friedman, and today's episode is on plants. Wait, haven't we already talked about plants? Because I'm pretty sure we did. Yeah, we actually have talked about plants in a previous video, and all you have to do is click the eye in the corner to check that video out. But today, we're going to be talking about a specific thing inside plants that helps them create energy. This little baby structure is called a chloroplast. Ugh, I'm not a baby. <laughs> Most cells are full of tiny little structures called organelles. Each organelle has a specific job inside the cell. Chloroplasts are round, oval, or disc-shaped organelles that take energy from the sun and convert it into chemical energy. Chloroplasts are roughly 1 to 2 micrometers thick and 5 to 7 micrometers in diameter. Chloroplasts are surrounded by double membrane with an inner and outer layer. Inside these organelles, a thick goop called stroma moves around. Stroma is made up of dissolved enzymes and copies of the chloroplast genome, or the DNA of the chloroplast. Inside this thick goop are structures called thylakoids that stack up next to each other just like a stack of pancakes. <laughs> These stacks are known as grana. These stacks of thylakoids are connected by tubes called stromal lamellae. Inside each thylakoid, a chemical called chlorophyll and a bunch of protein complexes including photosystem 1, photosystem 2, and ATP move around. When light hits each thylakoid, the photosystem 2 absorbs the light and the chlorophyll gets excited and gives away electrons. The electrons enter the electron transport chain, where they are sent through substances called ADP and NADP+, also known as ATP and NADPH, when they are full of energy, to an area where the Calvin cycle begins. The Calvin cycle converts the energy created by the proteins and chlorophyll inside the thylakoids into sugars called glucose where they can be used by the rest of the cell. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, science can always be fun.